yard. So most of what you can do in closed guard, you can typically do in half guard. Um, well, not most of everything, but wrist locks, they're gonna go along the same thing. When I'm here, I'm gonna play with them the same way, right? I'm in this position, I push, he grabs on there. Now the differences with this is I have to drag it and give it back pressure because I'm not wrapped up around them. So I have to get his wrist on the inside of the leg. Okay, so when we're here and I'm pushing, once he grabs that, and the best part is sometimes you don't even need to push, right? Like sometimes you're just playing and they grab. Once he's there, I have to get his wrist on the inside. So if he's willing to pull in with me, like he's holding on to it, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. I push, he grabs, I pull. Once it's on the inside there, I smash the same way, get here. And now this is tighter than the close guard one in the sense where I don't have to twist to the side. The backing pressure is right there. It's so much closer to the body that when I just curl in, it's instant, okay? So we're here, we're in close guard. And this, you play close guard, this is common. People grab that arm, you're framing. You don't even have to push the face. You could be here, he grabs that. If you're having problems baiting them and it just keeps popping off, what you can do from here is reach in and pull. That little grip is gonna get you a lot of wrist locks and half guard, right? So I'm here, I'm doing whatever, and let's say I pull off and it's just not working, I'm not getting that, because like we talked about here, I need this to follow me to here, okay? So I push. And first we'll just do you follow me and then I'll grab the wrist again. So I push, he grabs, I pull, I smash this through, hold him down. It's horrible. It's an instant tap. Okay. Now if I'm here and he's not coming with me, all I'm going to do is just reach, grip, pull. And then I'm already in the spot because I'm there though. I'm not going to just give up and accept that position. I'm still going to over wrap. So I'm here. He grabs a hole, I come under, I pull, I still over wrap, bring it up through, finish, okay? Now, all of the same things work. I'm just gonna do them all here. I'm here, he reaches up on that other side, I grab and I fold it all the way down. There's no backing pressure on this one though, so it has to be at the end of the extension of where he is. So this one, you have to really roll up into the hand. I catch. I roll high up into the hand and get that tap, okay? So all of them from the beginning again. Is this a good view or should I do a different angle? This is fine. So we're here and number one, push. He grabs, I pull so it comes in front of my leg. I pull, I smash, come back down, instant tap. Number two, whether I'm just floating here or I push, it doesn't matter. The problem is as I'm pulling, his hand's coming off, okay? He's not gonna know that that pull was me trying to get a wrist lock. I mean, unless he's rolled with me before, right? When we're here and I pull, if it pops off, all I'm doing is taking this side, pulling, and then I still smash to the armpit grip, come through, get the finish, okay? Now for the cross side, when he takes that grab, he comes under, I'm pulling out the same way, I'm smashing it the same way, but now if I just come in, it's not gonna feel as bad, I have to make sure I really roll up on the hand on this one. So when I'm coming down, extra heavy roll on the hand for the tap. Half guard wrist locks.